All right, YouTube, just want to show you my homemade smoker trail we made. It's a tribute to the United States Army. I've been in for a while, so we uh, designed this thing to be tan on green instead of black on black like most smokers. We'll uh, start from the front and work our way back. We've got, uh, first up, we've got the two flags, the flag holders here. Uh, simple little addition to the trailer. Uh, we made this trailer from scratch, my dad and I. Uh, very smart man. We welded everything together. Looked for a trailer, but we couldn't find one we liked. Size and dimensions and whatnot. Hold this tank. 120 gallon, 120 gallon propane tank. So we uh, made it from scratch. We got the flag pole here, or the, the umbrella rather. The umbrella pole holder is detachable. So if the sun's here, then you know you've got plenty of room to shade yourself here. But if you want to move it. I just tighten up those set screws uh, you can move it around anywhere you want on the trailer depending on where the sun is how your smoke's blowing or whatnot shade yourself wherever you need to uh, got a big four by two wood box i've done uh three smokes in the last week so uh two whole days and one half day smoke so that will hold plenty of wood for three 12 hour smokes if you need my four inch pvc pipe here is for the flag and the army flag uh, just take the top off throw them in there for transport keeps them clean and respectful while you're traveling also got some camp chairs bungee down here we've got room for the cooler uh, the other umbrella and the PVC pipe do not get hot during a cook. Uh, it's really nice. This tank holds heat really well, so I don't have to worry about the heat belt and melting or burning those up. We welded on a simple little pipe here and put a put a roller on it for our butcher paper. Also got the paper towels down there, so whenever you're done with your butcher paper, before or after, you got your paper towel holder as well. Uh, I've got two sets of cutting boards. One, it's a pretty set, U.S. Army veteran on there. And the other set uh, is actually ones I've been using to cook with. Uh, haven't used the nice ones to actually cook with yet. Um, I don't want to get them dirty. It's a lot of time and effort we put in there. We get some epoxy rivers going through them. Routed the U.S. Army out. Filled those with yellow epoxy. Uh, filled all that in. It's real smooth, really nice. A nice coat of oil on those. Looking really good. Uh, we've got the two doors here with the latch that holds on this particular lid we've got a simple latch holder on the front and the back so if you're doing a little work and you don't want the don't want the rod in the way you can flip it over it'll hold the lid open a little bit farther back it's a reverse flow smoker so uh, we got the metal sheets the it's I didn't put one sheet all the way across I didn't do that in the design of it, so uh, we've got several pieces of sheet metal that goes through here. We can adjust those. We can take them out and just put a regular fire in there if you want to, if you just want to do a big hamburger hot dog grill out. We used some non-traditional trays that go on there. I found these stainless steel uh, cooking racks. Uh, good deal. Somebody had some like, factory seconds or something, so we got those. The uh, So that's that. Cutting boards here on the front. We've got a chain holding them together so they don't bounce out going down the road. So whenever you get to wherever you're going to cook, you can lift these out and they'll swing out. Another attachment over here keeps it from wibble wobbling while you're trying to cook. So that solid there doesn't move. The other one does the same thing. It will. <laughs> my flag fell. Or my umbrella <laughs> fell. So on the top up here, the baffle for the smoker, you know, you see these pigs and all these other different things. Well, again, this is an army, army smoker. So we've got the uh, veterans store in Pigeon Forge have these nice big dog tags. And so we've welded a little bracket on there, put that on there for us, screwed that on there. My wife calls this the space helmet. Space helmet was designed to be a secondary holding tank once you're done smoking something you can put it in there or you can do hamburgers or hot dogs so the way the space helmet works it's got a little lock here opens up it's got one grill in there you can put your fire in there your charcoal your wood 
Uh, or you can just open the baffle. We drilled a hole. This video is probably not going to show. There's a hole through the space helmet, through the firebox, and there's a baffle on the back side. So if you want more smoke and more heat to get into this space helmet, you just adjust the baffle. Welded two uh, stop points on underneath before we welded this on. So it, I know when it's open, I know when it's closed. The baffle for the actual firebox, we saw this on YouTube video and I was like, hey, I want one of those. I really like that. So we made the we made the sliding baffle for this, but it didn't work out in reality. The smoke doesn't like to get, turn a corner or the fresh air doesn't like to take, turn a corner to ventilate the fire and keep it well regulated. And so what we do is this really doesn't affect the fire very much unless you just want to put it out. So we'll keep it open about two inches or so during a cook. And then on the back side of our firebox, you know, we have to leave the box open about that much on each cook. And that's why we've got this cool little burn here from the smoke, the camouflage from the smoke, and all this is brown from the smoke. Uh, we keep this open about an inch, uh, keep the baffle open about a half inch or so. The other baffle, two inches, and I can keep this thing at a steady 250 um, to 250 pretty easily. So the smoke box, the fire box, we put some um, heat bricks in here. We used a little bit of a thinner metal in our, in our design just because we didn't want the weight. And so we've ended up going back and just and getting some fire bricks from Tractor Supply, putting those stone-rated uh, or, you know, fire-rated heat bricks in there. It does a good job at keeping the heat in doesn't let a lot of the heat escape down through the bottom of the trailer does a good job for us now i don't know what it would be like without them but i know what it is like them it's pretty nice does a good job uh full led lights back on the back and marker lights on the side uh, i'm trying to think what else we put into this we put a lot of thought into this you know just with all the different little the Paper holder, the swing out cutting boards, the design of the cutting boards. We put the cup holders here. Uh, we did had a little challenge of getting a perfect circle with our metal whenever we bent it, but we tried. And uh, we got good cup holders to hold your Arctic Yeti, whatever brand you're using, Walmart. Uh, other than my umbrella falling down, there's my smoker. Tell me what you think. Uh, I think I've got. In this, I think I've got about $1,600 total in all the metal, axle, wheels, flags, umbrellas, and all the add-ons and things. But uh, had a blast making it. It's been a lot of fun. We've, like I said, got three cooks already, and we have had a blast. It works super well. Super happy with this smoker. Super proud of it. Uh, we just really... I've enjoyed every aspect of this, and uh, my friends and family have had phase one and phase two, and phase three on this smoker is going to be a, a cover for the wood box. We'll design a cover for the wood box. We'll put some more uh, epoxy on it probably just to seal everything up. I know epoxy's not really food grade, but holds up pretty well. It's pretty durable, and so we'll plane down some boards make us a little prep area here uh, keeping away from the traditional stainless steel or other things that folks use on their smokers it's been a blast from Sevierville Tennessee y'all have a good one if you have any questions comments I'd appreciate them uh, otherwise have a good day have a good summer have a good smoke <laughs>